So hello guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will configure the DNS for our domain controller, and I will show you uh, if I look up for the server name. Here it is showing the local host. Here. Here it is showing the local host. It is because right now our DNS server is not configured. So we will configure it. Now just go to tools and click on DNS. Now in forward lookup zone, you can see there are two active directory integrated primary zones are there. So right click on the reverse lookup zones and create new zone. Click on next uh, and here we will choose the primary zone and store the zone in active directory is enabled. Next IPv4 uh, here to all DNS server running on DC we will choose this here we will choose the IPv4 and here the net in the network ID uh, we will uh, give the, the first three octets of our IP address so in my case these are 192.168.1 so here click on next again okay, next finish so now here uh, there are two files are generated here so what we have to do now go to the forward lookup zone and techroxo.com and this is our server right click on it and click on properties and ch check this option and click on apply okay now if we go back to our reverse lookup zone and refresh this and here our new PTI record is created now we have to open the IPv4 settings here properties properties here you will see the preferred dns address was 127.0.01 that was a local host we have to change it now to the our server's ip address just change it 192 sorry 1681 now click on ok close okay so now again we will check this thing in the powershell now again we will type ns lookup now see our default server now <coughs> changed to the our this server now again we will check techroxo.com see our server is updated from localhost to the SVR 2K22 and I will also check the IP address here you will see our DNS record is configured now now our server is ready to use for as a domain controller